Harry Charlie, he just missed me. Wow. I was a bit too close for comfort. Hello lads and ladies. I hope you're well. There's a bit of a scare on. There's a bit of a scare on ladies and gents. Some virus is going about. People are panicking. But, uh, alright, there's money to be made out of this. So we're going to a new farm. It's quite far away. Normally I'd go by car or by train. But not this time. Yeah, you've guessed it, haven't you? I'll do there. Looks like a taxi. Uh, this time we're going by plane. Right, lads and ladies, I think I'm going to use the word acquire. I've managed to acquire this plane. And uh, because the map's so far away, this is the best way to get there. Right, let's give this a little bit of oomph. Take the brakes off. Straight. A little bit more on. And I think we're pretty much good to go. Bit of a crosswind there. Alright boys and girls, I'll uh this is, going to, this is going to be quite a long flight, actually. So, I'll, I'll catch you when I'm getting there. Right, ladies and gents, I'm just coming into the, uh, the new airport. The new location. I've got to say, as I was coming in, uh, I'm going to loop around us. Some lovely fields. Let's put some flaps on things. We'll get this put down. I hope that plane isn't going to taxi in front of me. He is. He, he is, isn't he? He's, he? Where's the air traffic control? That is bang out of order. And he's coming on at my runway. Am I, am I come on the wrong runway? See? He, he's powering up, isn't he? I'm down. Set the brakes off. And let's uh, get out of his way. God blimey Charlie, he just missed me. Wow. I was a bit too close for comfort. Right, I'm going to go and park this up. And uh, I'll catch you over when we get into the farm. I've got to go and rent a car. In a Hello, I'm finally here. What a kerfuffle at the airport. They were telling me I was on the wrong strip. They were trying to tell me on the radio. I said, what radio? 
and uh, well they looked at me kind of weird I said I'm not a real pilot you know well that caused even more of a kerfuffle now, I used to work on building sites sometimes chaps even myself drop a tool down between the outside wall and the inside wall or your mobile phone would go down there we'd have to rip bricks out and have a, have a look for it and I can tell you I've never been to this place before but cavity search means something else here but I'll not get into that anyway I'm here in Australia I want to keep it quiet because I want to be the first to get on this bandwagon oh yeah I've I've missed the mobile phone thing I missed the one wing planes you know when we converted from two wings who ever thought that would take off anyway I think this is where I turn so I've come down here to make me money now I've got some building work to do on the farm and I've got to plant my fields and get my crop in I'm hoping this is the way what are you breaking for? there's nothing here this, this looks like the place yeah we'll pull in here so I've bought this place it's got quite a bit of land with it actually oh there's a garage there look at that we can park in here just out of the way I'll tell you what, the weather's better than the UK. Oh yes. Glorious. Well, I'm here. So now you know where I am. But I'm not giving the details of my cunning plan away yet. To make some money. That sheep pen. A little bit small for what I want. But my plan is, I do want sheep. Oh yes. I need sheep. I need to get some fields planted. And the only reason I'd need cows and pigs is for slurry. Hmm. Because that'll help me fertilise my fields. Rather than going out spending. <clears throat> on. Fertilisers which can get expensive especially in a big field so and I can always sell the cows for meat that looks like a nice spot right ladies and gents I've got some building work to do so I'll get back to you shortly I want a bigger silo as well but I'm going to check to see if the previous owners have left anything in it before I sell that hmm I'm liking the place I'm liking the place right catch you shortly so I'm going down here my first job is to lime this field oh that guy can't be then but he he's like a mile away I'm going to lime this field ready for the sheep uh, I've decided to put them in a field down here and we'll turn it into a bit of a grass field for them and that should keep them uh, all tickety-boo hopefully I might need a uh, I might need more grass I don't know yet but I've got a pen that holds um, 1250 sheep I'll have to get the, uh, the plumber down fix that piping up 
Right. I'm going to get this uh, field limed and ploughed and seeded with grass. And we'll see how we go from there. Hello ladies and gents, well I've uh, limed the field, I've ploughed the field and now I'm going to fertilise the field. But a word of warning, this if you have these and you have the new pipe system, these won't connect. But these will. So, that was a waste of money, and I can't sell them. I can't sell them back to the shop, they won't have them. Well, I've ended up buying a new sprayer, sooner than I thought. Because, uh, well, the other one was just too slow. It just wouldn't work. Well, it might have worked, but I'm not doing it at about three mile an hour. So we've got this, and I can't remember which side the fill is on, I think it's on the right. So what we'll do, nip over here, get, I think it will be about right. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I think there are be a lot better. We'll grab the pipe. Oh, come on. It's a little bit harder when you've not got the centre circle. There we go. Will it will it bend? There we go, got it on. Right. Let's try and fill this. And hopefully, <coughs> this, there we go. We've got uh, we've got some fertilizer in it at last. Right. Let's move this out of the way. Come on. Oh. 
put it over here, I think. So we're probably going to need some more. I've got the rest of my fields to do. And we'll go and get this field I want for grass <laughs> done. Okay boys and girls, that's that done. Now I've got to get the thing cultivated. And seeded. Now I'll get back to you after I've done that. Because this is taking a while now. And I've got the builders coming to build. Well still keeping it under wraps at the moment because uh, I don't want anybody else pinching my idea I'm hoping to make a lot of money right well I've decided I'll let this go first because I've got quite a big load on I've decided I'm going to cultivate and seed at the same time I'm thinking that is going to save a lot of hassle so we've got the new cultivator on the back we've got a cedar we've got a 12 meter cultivator and a 12 meter cedar and we're going to try and blather it all off at once so we're going to have to get into here No. Now, we've got the cultivator, and if I just put the cedar onto the back of this, <coughs> there's no power, so I've had to get a separate power unit, um, and hopefully that'll power the cedar with this dolly. That uh, should work out fine, I'm hoping. So, uh, <laughs> let's give it a go. Okay. If this works, I'm, I'm going to be happy. So, we'll put that down. So, that's the uh, 12 meter cedar uh, cultivator. What am I on about? Then. Put that down, sorry. And we'll 
open this up. Rick down. Oh yes, it's working. That certainly looks like it's planted. Check on the map in a moment. Yes, if I'd have just banged it straight into the uh, cultivator, we wouldn't have had any power, but I've got that dolly which is uh, giving it its own power source. So we're uh, pretty good to go there. Now as you can see, we're not thundering along at a great pace. Now, I could go silly and, uh, and try two cultivators and two cedars behind one tractor. I could. But I'll do that in the next field. I'll just see whether it works. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on with this at this blistering rate. And uh, I'll catch you shortly. I'll... I'll get this done. Could take a while at this speed. Well, that's that done. Cultivated and seeded. I think it needs another spray of furt, but I can do that shortly. No get to get on with my next stage of my cunning plan. Right, the field has been, I've fertilised the field, the builders have turned up, they've been cracking on with that while I've been finishing off the field. So I'm just going to check on how they're doing. See if they're coming up to my expectations. Oops, what's that pile of sand? Right. I best, uh, I best have a leak then. Oh, it's coming on well. The lads have been happy uh, at it. Oh, yes. Drains are going in. Oh, wonderful stuff. Foundations are starting to go in. Oh. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm very happy. Right. I'll, uh, I'll go and get something to eat. Oh, this is wonderful. It's, the plan is coming together. Well, the builders have gone. And I can finally show you my plan. Because I'm all ready, I've just got to wait for the, uh, the crops to grow. I've not planted one of the crops. I need to shut that gate as well. But here we go. The building's up. The builders have gone. So we'll pull in. And the first thing you'll notice... I've got a gate, added security, because, um, well, what we're going to make is a, is a sort after thing. And I've had my drive done. They, they said uh, they had a bit left over, so they, they whacked it down for me. So I'm quite happy about that. 
I'll just pull up here. A couple of trees we took out, so I can sell them. They said to get rid of them. I said, oh, I'll leave them here. I'll be using them for firewood or... Anyway, what do you think? This is my plan to make money. While there's a craze on at the moment. So, we're making toilet roll. Oh yeah. I need cotton. I need wool. Hence the sheep. Oh, selling like hot potatoes at the moment. <clears throat> In fact, probably even better than hot potatoes. That's why I've come down to the warmer climbs for two reasons. I can uh, I can do the cotton down here, and uh, well, at the moment Australia, well, the world is buying toilet roll. So, uh, not to miss a trick, I'm on it like a car bonnet. So. I'm going to go and get the rest of the fields ready and uh, we'll shut the gates so they're all ready. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Right, everybody, I'll catch you later. Have a wonderful day. I hope you like my plan. <clears throat> so you can understand why I kept it under wraps. Yeah, yeah, everything's ready now. Have a wonderful day everybody, enjoy yourselves, have a good time, and uh, bye bye.